Oh, good morning. I don't know. No, no. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, we were talking, or some people were commenting on road markings and the fact that a lot of roads here don't have centre markings on them. Well, I am currently on the main road between Villiers and Azé le Ferron. This is the main road. If you look at Google Earth, you will find that this is the route that is recommended for you. And as you can see, yeah, a centre line would be a bit sort of pointless. get to the junction and there we have the sign that says C'est le passage. Um, so I haven't got to stop here. Uh, I've just got to give way if there's anything going down the other road. Now, as we drive on the right in France. If there is a vehicle coming the other way, then it's beholden on both of us that we we find ways of getting past, which generally means putting two wheels in the drain, uh, not in the ditch, but in you know on the grass. Uh, that generally will let two cars get past, but of course, quite often on this road in summer, you will have giant tractors and combine harvesters and things, and the only thing to do is to find a gateway to pull into. But it all sort of works, we'll smile and wave at each other. going to tell you what the speed limit on this road is but then I sort of remembered that I actually don't know. I've got a bad feeling that it's probably 80 kilometres an hour but uh, yeah that, that would be foolish and dangerous. eventually, honest gov. Uh, there's a sign that says that in 150 metres you've got to stop. This And this is one of those stop signs that you really, really take notice of. Uh, the road that goes across the front here, that goes between Obter and Polney, uh, this is an absolute blind junction. So we stop and look and then we rush across
saying very much, it's because I'm sort of concentrating a bit on these roads. Uh, there's always the possibility of a hare running out of the field. Uh, hares, well, yeah, they're big enough to do a fair bit of damage to a car. The other possibility here is a wild boar. Uh, yeah, very occasionally you will see wild boar and you do not want to have an unscheduled meeting with a wild boar. They call them wild for a very good reason. For the Francophiles amongst you, of course, wild boar is sanglier. Go to Google Earth and dig up the coordinates for Azé Le Ferron uh, and then look at the roads that go to um, places like Villiers, Solnay, Polnay. You know on Google Earth there's that funny little man that you can click on and all the roads turn blue and that shows you where Google Earth has been and has filmed from one of those cars with a camera on the roof. What you find in this part of the world is there's quite a lot of roads that Google Earth has never driven down. There's a thing. If you do do that, look at the date that they last drove down the road. Uh, yeah, they, there's not too much point Google Earth coming here, and to be honest, not much changes. Anyway, look at this, we're now on a big road with centre markings. There we are, look, white line down the middle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this road gets, amongst other traffic, it also gets the self-driving bus thing that, that is satellite guided or... I, I don't know how the guidance system works on it. And that is limited to 50 kilometres an hour. And this road is an 80 kilometer an hour speed limit. And the white line down the middle says no overtaking. Because frankly it would be dangerous down this bit of the road to overtake. And quite often people find themselves stuck behind agricultural vehicles with speed limiters on them or the local uh, automatic bus thing. And they get all a bit twitchy and uncomfortable being stuck behind something that isn't doing the speed limit. Now there's a sign that simply says something happens in 300 metres. Now of course we all know that we're coming on to La Ronde Point, the roundabout. If you want to live in a chateau, 
remember you've got a lot of windows to clean.